Today I have what is my first Cezanne review video for a good five months or so now since April. I've definitely been slowing down on the Cezanne videos after reflecting on my own shopping habits, buying experiences from the brand. However, as I said in my is it time to break up with Cezanne video, fall, autumn is the best time of year in my opinion. If you are gonna shop at Cezanne, they tend to bring out some of their most classic kind of essential pieces at this time of year in new colorways, new designs. Um, and these are pieces I wear throughout the year, throughout the seasons, but they just so happen to mostly be released at this time of year. Early fall in particular, I think, is when all the good stuff comes out. I'm gonna start with the first purchase, probably, you know, there's two purchases in here that I was most excited about and were the main reasons that I placed this order. But these are probably my favorite just because of the color. Um, so any guesses what these are? I, I did post a short, as you may have seen, I did show you a little sneak peek of what, what I ordered. And these I think were the favorite among most of you. And yeah, they have to be my favorite as well. So these are the Axel Boots in the patent purple, which is Suzanne's name for this cherry red burgundy shade. It isn't purple by any means, but it is the same color, I think. I haven't actually checked, but I'm pretty sure it's the same color as the patent purple Paula Babies were last winter. Um, so it is, I, I would call this burgundy, I would call it, it's, it's a bit of a darker cherry, it's not cherry red, but it's like a, a wine Bordeaux red, absolutely beautiful and especially gorgeous in this shiny patent leather. So these are the axle boots, an ankle boot. It has this wooden block heel, couple of inches high. I absolutely love these. Now, if you are a channel regular, you might remember I bought these in the honey shade, the almost like mustard yellow shade in January. They were my January purchase and I wore them so much. I probably stopped wearing them in about May just because I don't really wear ankle boots in the summer. I know some people wear ankle boots with dresses in the summer, but I prefer sandals and other shoes. So I haven't worn them since May, but I have recently got them back out and started wearing them again. And I was comparing these new ones with the honey ones that I've had for, you know, nine months or so and worn quite a lot in that time period. And the leather on the honey one, ones has softened up a lot. They feel a lot more comfortable than these did when I initially tried them on yesterday. So I would say if you're looking at the axle boots, um, they are gonna feel slightly stiff initially, especially obviously around the ankle, but do give them time. If you really love them and you find them comfortable in the sense that you know you can walk in them fine, but you find them maybe a little bit stiff, they will soften. Not necessarily to the amount or as much as a non-patent leather would. I think patent leather is always gonna be a little bit stiffer and less malleable, but I will show you a side-by-side -side comparison. The honey ones have definitely creased, which I don't mind the look of, but yeah, if you don't like the look of creased patent leather, definitely don't buy these, because they do crease, they mold to your foot, and they soften with wear, and my honey ones are so comfortable now. These are fine, but yeah, they do feel stiffer, so I'm looking forward to breaking these in because I have so many outfit ideas for these. I just feel like they're gonna pair so perfectly with the rest of my wardrobe, indigo denim, brown tones, blues, greens. I feel like I have a lot of colors and a lot of accessories in this shade. Like my classic Milo in the burgundy is gonna pair beautifully with these. The Renato jacket I have has th those pops of burgundy in it as well. So I really do feel like there is a place for these in my wardrobe, even though I do have the honey shade. I thought I would style the boots with my burgundy Milo bag and just this jumpsuit, which I'm trying on for a nobody's child video that's coming up. But um, obviously you don't need me to tell you how to wear ankle boots. I mostly wear mine with trousers and jeans because I like to wear knee high boots with skirts and dresses these days. But yeah, this is how I'd style it with a jumpsuit or jeans. Can you see the boots? Hopefully you can. I love them. These are a definite key. Okay, we have the clothes now. I'm gonna start with these. These are the Matthew trousers from Suzanne, obviously. Um, these are in the burgundy. Is this actually called burgundy? Because sometimes they don't call it, yeah. Oh, they call it Bordeaux. I don't know if Bordeaux is burgundy in French. Probably is, isn't it? 
Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna say it is. So burgundy Matthew trousers. I love these. I oh that color. Look at that color. I would love some kind of top in this color. These are just perfect. These are my favorite trousers from Suzanne. They're actually one of the only trousers from Suzanne that fit me. I wish I could own the Martin trousers in that brown gingham. I see them everywhere. They look so good on people, but I just they just don't work on my body type. Whereas these I find do. And the length is great. The perfect length on me. I love to wear them actually with my heeled ankle boots. Um, so I don't know if I would pair the two burgundies to get, maybe I would, maybe I would if I was going quite neutral on top. But um, even with my honey sh honey colored axle boots, I think I think that color would work, that, that, um, that combination would work. But yeah, I like the length of the Matthews with a slight heel because it just lifts them off the ground. I do find that if you're wearing the Matthew trousers with trainers, which I do do sometimes, um, because I'm five foot five, it, um, it skims on the ground so you end up getting the hems of the trousers a little bit dirty which is you know you can wash them obviously but I prefer to wear them with a slight heel so that doesn't happen especially when it's wet which is basically all the time in the UK. For my first attempt styling the Matthew trousers I thought I would copy the Cezanne website because I actually liked the look of it styled of the trousers styled with the blue strap shirt on the Cezanne website. I have a similar shirt in my wardrobe, it's not from Cezanne, but I thought I would recreate that as a starting point and then we can go from there. I like this look a lot, it could definitely be layered though, so I'm thinking of adding a gilet as an additional pop of colour. It kind of goes with the shoes. It's like a color sandwich because the shoes sort of match the jacket. I could even add my burgundy bag. I don't know if this is too matchy matchy, but. I think I like it. I've had this and other stories jacket in my wardrobe for a couple of years now and I hardly ever reach for it but I'm determined to get more wear out of it this autumn it's like the perfect autumnal jacket so I thought I would just give it a go with this outfit and see what it looks like I could definitely see myself wearing some variation of this outfit I might tweak it change the shoes something like that but generally I think this works These trousers would look just good with a beige or brown a camel trench but also I want to try them finally with my Renato jacket. I love how the pops of burgundy in the Renato just pair perfectly with these trousers. So I really think these are a strong contender for my wardrobe. Definitely they go with most of the jackets in my wardrobe and I could wear them with this blue shirt. This would also work really nicely with these trousers. I think just kind of what I'm wearing, the blue shirt, but in a white form. And then I could also wear the white underneath this jacket or underneath the gilet as well, um, or the green jacket or a trench coat. So I feel like I've got a proof of concept that I can pair these trousers with a good few tops and jackets in my wardrobe if I do want to keep them. This is the Betty I have, which you, you would think might be the same color. This is garnet, but it is not. This is the Bordeaux burgundy. And you can see this one is more red toned and brighter. And this one is more kind of brown toned, purple toned and darker. So if you were hoping, if you own this and you wanted to buy these to pair them as a set, they're not really going to look right together, unfortunately, which is kind of gutting because I would love to wear it as like a matching loungewear set. Um, I know a lot of people wear the navy Betty with the navy Matthew trousers and that looks really nice, but you can't really do that with these. So I would avoid them if you're buying them for that reason. But I did see literally a couple of hours ago on Instagram on Tales Journals, who you should definitely follow if you don't already. She uh, releases a lot of like uh, behind the scenes Suzanne news and things that haven't been released yet. 
um, stuff like that. I saw that they are releasing the Betty in this shade at some point later on in the season. So it will come out. If you miss out on the Garnet Betty, it will come out in this shade in um, later on in the season, which is quite gutting for me because obviously I don't really need a Garnet Betty and a Burgundy Betty, but then I would like to have a Betty that pairs with these trousers. So bit of a sticky situation. <laughs> Finally, although I don't have yet a Bordeaux Betty cardigan to pair with these and the garnet doesn't work because they just don't match, it doesn't look right, I do have my Ecru Betty. So if I want a cosy working from home loungewear set that still looks really put together and nice, then I think this is a combo that can work. Probably with some slippers rather than the ankle boots, but you get the picture. Could I have talked about a pair of trousers for any longer? I'm not sure. Um, the next item is probably my least favourite item. I didn't actually so show this in the short, only because I ran out of time. Shorts can only be a minute long and I can talk for more than a minute on just a few items. So I didn't mention this, but I did also buy this. This is the Clo shirt in this lovely dusty blue. This is called Vintage Blue. Um, and this one I'm a little bit disappointed in, to be honest. This one was almost definitely going back because I just don't think I need it. I really loved the look of it on the website. It really drew me in the styling. It reminds me a little bit of the rim blouse that I bought last season, which I do like and I do own, but it's very thin. Um, it, it is basically the same as the rim, even though it is the clo, um, because there is no embroidery and no lace on the back. So it's completely plain cotton on the black and back and then you just have the lace and the embroidery on the front which for a hundred pounds I kind of wish there was a little bit of detail or lace on the back. I know it doesn't bother everyone but this just I don't know it, it disappointed me a little bit um, and I think I would rather go for some of the other clothes if I was going to buy a clo shirt. You can you can find better Cezanne blouses than this so I wouldn't necessarily recommend this. I haven't even tried it on yet. It might be beautiful on but I doubt it. I think I'm probably going to be sending this one back. So I'm just styling up the blue clo blouse. It is nice. Um, I do have to say I really like it with this okra shade. I think this colour combination is really nice. A little bit more unexpected. It's not your traditional kind of browns and burgundies, but it still feels very autumnal. It's a pretty blouse, and if you want something that's very lightweight and very thin, maybe you live somewhere where it never gets very cold, so you want that autumnal look, but you don't want the heat that comes with thicker tops and jumpers got hair on my lip, then this might actually be really nice because it's very, very lightweight, very, very thin. But it's not necessarily ideal if you do live in a colder climate unless you're really going to layer it. But yeah, this is kind of just untucked with my gilet and some blue jeans. The fit is nice. I'm wearing a size 10 and a U38 and I feel like it fits true to size, same as the other clothes. I just, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the neckline of the clothes sometimes. I like the look of it, but I feel like I just fiddle with it a lot because it is, it does have a tendency to do this, which I don't know if I love. Whereas with the silk ones, they're a little bit drapier, so they tend to lie a little bit more down. And the silk, I feel like the clo just works in silk so well. Whereas in cotton, it can be a little bit more awkward. But you know, it's not horrible. It's not a really, if you've fallen in love with it, it's not a bad blouse by any means. Um, and I could also wear it obviously without the gilet. If I wasn't wearing the gilet, I would probably just do some kind of full tuck or French tuck situation with a pair of blue, dark blue jeans. And you could probably fiddle with the neck so it sits a little bit different. You can kind of fold it down to be honest. So it sits like that, or you can have it done up all the way like that. It is pretty, it's growing on me as I wear it. I just don't love that there's literally no detail on the back. I think that really lets it down. I think if they're gonna charge a hundred pounds, just put a little bit of lace, a little bit of embroidery on the back as well. Next up, we have the item that is joint top with the boots for my favorite and the one I was most excited for. This is the Nissia dress in this green shade. I am so excited to try this on. I haven't even tried this on yet. I've tried on the bits like the cardigans that are easy to, to try on, but I haven't tried this on and the boots, but yeah, I haven't actually styled this because I wanted to do it proper, like style it properly and wear it with, make sure that I have enough in my wardrobe, similar to the Matthew trousers, make sure I have enough, enough in my wardrobe that will pair with this because I'm a little bit worried about what tops, how many different tops I have that will go under this. So I'm thinking my white, one of my white, 
cotton blouses with the frilly collar or just like a regular white cotton shirt. Oh, maybe my tomboy shirt with the red embroidered hearts, although red and green is a bit Christmassy, isn't it? Especially this color green, so maybe not that one. Um, I also thought actually, as I was just getting ready to film, that this striped blue shirt as more of like a work appropriate, office appropriate way of styling this green could work. I guess it would look kind of similar to the gilet in a way. So I might try that combination. Um, but yeah, I'm probably gonna wear this most with black tights, boots probably, or maybe loafers, and um, a white shirt underneath. Don't know how I feel about this green dress, you know. I love it, but I don't know if it looks a little bit too like I'm a kid going to church, or like I'm playing dress up. Maybe it's the frill collar, so I might change that out, but this is the first outfit I, this was the outfit I immediately envisaged, envisaged when I first ordered the dress. Final item, last but kind of least. I was gonna say last but not least, but yeah, last but least. The item I'm most disappointed in is the Emile in the Burgundy again, the Bordeaux. I have never tried the Emile, which is kind of amazing because this is actually in Grenet. Grenet? Not sure, I'm not sure what that means in French, but um, this is one I have seen everywhere. Obviously lots of influencers have this, lots of people have this in their wardrobe in all sorts of shades, lots of people rave about it and I've never even tried it which is you know quite considerable considering I've tried a lot of Cezanne clothing in the last four years. Um, so when, it, when I saw it come in this colour I thought you know what I'm gonna give it a go. Maybe it's as good as everyone says it is, maybe it's not itchy, maybe I can look past the itchiness because of it's it's just gonna be, you know, an amazing fit. I'm really chasing the light now, so I wanna be quick with this one. Also, this is kind of scratchy, so I wanna take it off. But yeah, the Emile cardigan. Finally, I really do like the look of this. I love the colour. I do actually quite like the fit. I think if it wasn't scratchy, it's the sort of cardigan I would wear a lot. So I do somewhat understand the hype for the look of it, but just I can't feel I can't deal with the level of discomfort that this jumper is causing me. But I will show you what it looks like on anyway, just in case you're more resilient to these fibers than I am. This is the size medium on me, and actually, I personally wouldn't size down. I know a lot of people do size down in this, but I think it's designed to be chunky and to be worn oversized, and I like it that way. I wouldn't want it really small or fitted. So yeah, I do think it looks nice just with indigo denim. You could do a little front tuck situation to make it slightly more flattering if you wanted. I do really like the look, and I would also wear it undone with a tank underneath. I think a white tank underneath with maybe just the top button done up. I've seen a lot of people wear it like that, and I really like the look. So yeah, I'm kind of sad to be honest, because oh, I really like looking at it in the viewfinder. I really like the look of it. It's just like that perfect autumnal, cozy, oversized knit. But I just don't think I can deal with the level of irritation. Because if you have something really cozy and autumnal, you want it to be comfortable. Otherwise, what's the point, right? So yeah, but it is a nice fit. I will give it that. And I do somewhat understand the hype, just not for me, this one. While I have you here, if you're still watching, I thought it would show you a couple of other items that I either saw after that I placed this order or I just didn't need, so I didn't order, but a couple of other items that I thought looked like good purchases from the collection. I have to say there was a lot in this collection that was in synthetic fibers or at least mixed with synthetic fibers. I saw that a lot of the jackets and the coats and the knitwear dresses, a lot of it had synthetic fibers in it. So I was a little bit disappointed in that to be honest. And there's a lot of the collection I would skip for that reason. However, there's a couple of other bits that I thought looked quite nice. Let me see if I can find them, that is. The first one was the Louis, I think it's the Louis, the Louis cardigan in burgundy, which I would recommend over the Emile. Now they are slightly different. The Louis is like a 
thin knit. I believe it's merino wool. Yeah, it's 100% merino wool. Looks beautiful. I think I've tried this in Rosewood last year and I didn't keep it, but this burgundy one, absolutely gorgeous. I would definitely recommend this. I think this is so pretty. So much more delicate as well with those cuff details. I would recommend it over the Emile and it won't be scratchy or itchy at all because it is merino wool. I think that is a better buy than the Emile and I think it might even be slightly cheaper. So the Louis is £100 and the Emile is £130. So I would go with the Louis. And then the only other thing that I really saw that I almost ordered but I didn't in the end is, um, I'm not gonna be able to find it now, but I'll put a picture of it on screen. This merino wool knit as well, almost like a shirt style knit. I think this is really pretty. If you have quite a classic style, neutral style, but you want something in merino wool, maybe the Betty is a little bit too grannyish for you. I know some people don't like the Betty because it's cropped and it feels maybe a little bit boxy. This might be a good option if you're not a fan of that and you want something longer, something slightly cooler, so like Cool Girl, um, as opposed to the Betty, which can can lean a little bit granny chic, which I like, but I know not everyone does. So yeah, I would recommend that one as well. Um, generally anything in merino wool or merino cotton blends, I would recommend. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions, anything I haven't covered in this video regarding sizing. Sometimes I, I forget to say, but if I do forget to say anything, I do tend to try and leave it in the description box. So make sure to check that as well for all of my sizing, my measurements, so you can compare for your own sizing and preferences as well. I hope you found it helpful, enjoyable, fun. Maybe I will do another one of these in a couple of months when once the winter releases start to come in. But this is me set for autumn now. Um, if I do end up keeping any of these items, I feel like I am good, I am set. I don't need any more Suzanne in my life for a good few months. So yes, please do give it a like if you enjoyed it. I will also leave some videos on screen if you're not finished watching. Otherwise, I hope you're doing really well and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye.